Good afternoon, folks. Uh, today is May 17th, uh, Wednesday afternoon call. It's normally tips and tricks, but right now we're going to start off with uh, a little workshop here because it's important that everybody is on the same track and everybody that's here, we can help each other out if necessary. Now, I put out the um, the advertisement or the notice that everybody have their phones with you. You have your Infrasana app open. Now, what I'd like to know with a raise of hands is how many people have a blank screen when they go to the uh, Infrasana home. For example, let me quickly share my screen here. And the home page is when you open up that app and you click on the bottom left icon. This, this always changes when I add to this. Okay, quickly, quickly. I set it up, but it doesn't show up when I share my screen. Here we go. Here is on the left side. When you open up your Impersona app, does it look like the left side? or does it look like the right side? Just, if it looks on the left side, let me know in the screen, you know, in the chat here. Raise your hand and, you know, people help me here if they can see the hand raised too. I'm gonna just let it, Stay there for a second. Cynthia, you so, should only have one connected. So if you have, I, uh, I don't know what you meant about. Uh, yeah, I, I, kept, I kept getting kicked off, but it, and, and, and before I was getting like you guys, I couldn't hear everything I were saying. It was like cutting off, but now it seems like I got a better connection. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. So what do I see? Two people so far. Um, anybody else? That's pretty good then. Uh, but anybody else, when you uh, click onto your Impersona app, the first screen that shows up, as you can see, the arrow on the left is uh, that's the home page. <clears throat> and if it looks like that without any information on it, you need to update it to make it look like the right side. So what do we have, two people? Is that what I see? Anybody see any more people? That looks like it for right oh. now. But okay. everybody, every instructor needs to watch this because you may have students that have these issues. Yeah, because I didn't even know there was supposed to be anything else on that screen. And I've had it for over a year and it's all been blank. And then just recently, I was talking with Donna and said, no, you guys all information on there. I said, well, I can't find it. Well, there's cross, cross things happened when we first started last year. They told us to do one thing. And in this year, January and February, with the new founders package, it was changed. So my wife's app and my app have two different you know, wallet setups, and that was the problem. So what we want to do is, uh, Deborah and Michael, you want to, if you haven't yet, you need to go to your confirmation email. Now, that it was given to you when you actually signed up. So what you're going to be looking for is this information right here your congratulations on purchasing your data nft now i'm gonna wait until you guys well hopefully you already have that deborah and michael have you gotten that already before you got on yes or no you can talk um i had to go look for mine so maybe no i haven't in a while answer. i just i just saw the email before i got on i um, do yeah. want to <laughs> say too guys that real quick Tom, if you scroll back up to that picture mm -hmm. that you have, before they go through the whole process of updating, if you look on that first screen that's on the left and up in the top corner, 
you see how his screen is blank, but it's on Binance, which is that, yes, right there. You can see my if cursor. You, yeah. yeah, the very first thing that you should do before you do anything is check to make sure that on the Polygon and yeah. on Vivo that your NFT doesn't show up there. Because if you're on the wrong chain, it's not going to show up. Yeah. And right. then if but, it doesn't show up in any of them, then continue with what Tom's telling you to do. Yeah. First of all, though, you're absolutely correct, but you need to have your original because that needs to correspond to what's here. And it didn't for me and it didn't for my wife, especially the network, which is what, you know, Laurie's talking about. So in order for it all to be in sync, you need to have your email. That's the first thing before we get to what Laurie was just saying. Because what you need to have here is, first of all, you have to have the same email that you signed up with on your in your in persona app. First of all, you have to have the same email. This came to my email. So you want to look in your business email that <clears throat> do you receive this information on. Number one. To be the same one that you signed up in vivo with. Yeah, for us back 18 months ago, same yeah. thing. And that's why I had to dig back 18 months to find this or find mine. The easiest way to, to, to do that is um, if you're using a Gmail, go to the top where you have the, man, the magnifying glass and do a search for congratulations on. That, that'll find the email right away. So in your email, you go yeah, to the inbox. So, so, so yes, yeah, so most of us are using Gmail. So in, in Gmail. Gmail, yeah. You go to your inbox. Correct. And then you go do a search like control F. No. Um, so in your, let me. You want to share? Your, a G, when you're in your a Gmail, go to, go to the, uh, the um, inbox and up at the very top, next to the Gmail, there's going to be a magnifying glass that says search email. In there, do a search for uh, congratulations on and then, and then by doing that you'll then uh, then see um results pop up and one of those is going to be congratulations on purchasing your data nft that's that's really the um easiest way to, to find emails like if, if you know the subject that's the easiest way to find them every time and are you able to do that deborah and michael we want we want to get you folks uh to be able to do this that's okay, why gonna, yeah i'm still i'm looking right now so give me a minute okay so whatever is there which again like laura you you you, you caught that and i'll tell you the truth i never clicked on Binance. I don't know how that ever showed up there. I mean, we were told to do Polygon. Well, I did Polygon. Yeah. And actually, mine showed up as... Mine likes to revert back to Binance every time I restart see. my phone or anything else. I don't know if that's like a default. Well, there you go. That's probably what, what happened to me. That's why I couldn't find it. Yeah. And so I always have to filter through it. And even though I chose Polygon, my free NFT is on Vivo, but my level three founders is on Polygon. So I have one on each. And I, yeah. so there you go. Me yeah, too. kind of crazy. That's yeah. a problem. But, you know, I, because I've got this information from support, right? I, yeah, that I was doing this all last week. And, you know, they, uh, we have the support link and it, you know, it they came back within like 24 hours. So it wasn't bad, you know, and because um, I have a, a whole bunch of emails from them. And the person that I was working with says, Wandalina, you know, and she gave me everything. And 
it was pretty good, but I had to keep going back and forth, showing her what I had, you know. Well, and- thank you for having the patience to do that because I sure don't. This this whole situation, I'm trying my hardest to learn, yeah. but it it really unnerves me. It really does. Like it doesn't make me angry. It just like overwhelms me Frustrating. because I yeah. So thank you for going and getting all of that information. Yeah. Well, the only thing is that they gave me, they found out. Oh, look, there's a cat. What? There's a cat. Scroll up. What'd you say? Oh, scroll up to the picture. The picture. Right? Keep going up. Right there. It looks like it's a, right there. It looks like it's a, a cat taking the picture. Look in the reflection. Yeah, right oh, there. Look at the cat. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, as you were, sorry. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Where did that come from? <laughs> no, right. Okay, anyway. Anyways. Well, I, I'm stalling for Deborah and Michael over here. So let mm-hmm. us know when you have found yours. Um, okay, I'll follow. I'll, excuse me. Yeah, I'll follow mine. This is Michael. Michael, okay. Hmm. Yeah, and what I did find out also is that um, you, he says you can't change it. You can't change your VSC to Polygon or to the Rebeance, which we don't want anyway. Yeah, I have, I have mine. Perfect. You have yours too, Deb? Yeah, I just reprinted it. <laughs> Okay, so it looks just like this, right? Uh, it should look exactly like this. Yes. Both, yes. Both in agreement? Yes. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go to your InPersona app, open it up, and... Angelica, are, are you having the same issue? I apologize. Can you share really quick what the issue is? Because the issue is when a person, if you have, when you open up your in persona app, it looks like on the left hand side, mm-hmm. which it should look like on the right hand side. Got it. I had that issue. Thank you. So yours is blank. Mine was blank. I finally conquered it after many, many hours of stress. But now mine looks like the right hand side, finally. There you go. (laughs) And it's really simple once you understand what is happening. Once you figure it out, right? (laughs) Yeah, of course, like anything, right? Um, And Laurie and I and and probably Deborah and Mike and everybody else had the same issue, especially if we started last year. It's, It's just cross reference and laurie was saying it kept going back to the beyond for her and you know and that probably is why i have this up here because the email that i got told me i was there and i said well i don't know why i'm there because i never had that before you know and God. um yeah because you can see it because it's a different icon it's supposed to be the purple one not the yellow one right yeah but when you don't know you don't know i right. agree Mine so, was I couldn't find my wallet, but I figured it out. So thank you. I'm sorry for interrupting. I just wanted okay. to, to know. That's all righty. So, so first of all, what you you, what you folks want to do? Oh, Ann, how are you doing, Ann? I don't have it. Donna, was I supposed to have this? I looked under all my emails and I did not find it. Hey, Ann. You, you have your watch or? Band, and No, I don't have a watch band. You don't have a watch or a band? Nope. No, oh. and, oh, and it was uh, before you got in. So okay. you don't have this offer yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Continue. But you still have the opportunity to get in with the. Yeah, I'll talk phone. to you when this is over. There you okay, go. sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All righty then. Now, so first of all, again, you want to make sure that you have the correct um, email. So what you want to do is you want to click on your name up in the top left. 
where everybody is on this screen, right? Especially if you don't have that information on the right. So just click on you. Okay. Just click on your name. Mine says, hi, Tom. You also say, hi, whoever you are. And the next screen will show your profile. And in your profile will show your email. And also underneath that will show your affiliate code if you, when you need your affiliate code. Okay. Yep. How's everybody doing with that? Okay, so far. Okay. So that's just to verify okay. your email. It has to be, again, the same as your congratulations that you received that. Does it coincide with that, folks? The ones that yes. don't have it. Yes, Mike and Debbie? Or Debbie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Good. So everybody is in agreement with that, right? Yes. So you can click out of that. Now, on the bottom of your phone over here, the second one from the left, that's your wallet. Click on your wallet. Everybody say yes. Yep. 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 Okay. Yes. On your wallet, on that wallet icon, it'll bring up your spending on the left and your wallet on the right. On the screen, right? You know, yes. left and right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, good. Excellent. So what you want to do is on, click on your wallet. And then you'll see a whole bunch of, I don't have diagrams on all this, but you know, you don't need it because everybody would be different anyway, but click on your wallet and on your wallet, you'll see um, your wallet number. First of all, let's go back here, go down to your invite letter and your network here on the left-hand side. See, it says VSC. Yes. Or that's a Vivo Smart Chain. Okay. We were directed to use Polygon, but some of us, before we were directed to use Polygon, we automatically use Vivo Smart Chain because that's what we've been, that's what we were using, Vivo, right? So it made sense, correct? So some of us may have VSC and some may have Polygon, but whatever you your letter says, Look at it, and what does yours say, Deb and Mike? VSC. 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 Yeah, my, yes. Okay. And Debbie says USC too. Yes. Everybody has VSC. Okay. So, on your wallet, over on the left hand side, it should say, "Well, Vivo Smart Chain." which is what VSC stands for. Does it show that? Yes. Everybody? No, I say Polygon. Oops. Yours says Polygon? Yeah. Okay, click the down arrow and change it to VSC. Because <clears throat> when you click the down arrow, it'll give you the three options, VSC, Polygon, or, or Binance, Smart Chain. Okay, you change, change, change over. So yeah, just hit the one that is corresponds to your email, which is VSC, right? Okay. Everybody with me, Deb? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The last thing is your destination wallet. Now in your wallet, you'll see the whole bunch of sign or characters underneath your name, right? I don't know what it starts with. Mine's, this mine starts with OX861 and there's a hundred of <laughs> characters after that, ending in FS1. So get to your four last digit characters. Zero, mine is, this one is 0F31. It's not actually mine, it was an example. Now, beside that is a down arrow. So click the down arrow. And you may see two different wallets. Just tap on the one that corresponds to your email. Let me check on the last four digits. 
our characters instead of having to read the whole thing, you know. Yeah, and just click on it and it'll get a check sign. My problem was it was on another one. I have two here and the check mark was on the bottom one that I have of the two and it wasn't coordinating. So it's got to be exactly what you see here. So you both find that on your down arrow. Yeah. Okay, just click on that. Then you should be all set. You go back to your home screen. That should be it. Then you should see this on the right-hand side. Right. <clears throat> I don't know if it takes a few seconds to come up or you have to go out and go back in for it to populate, but that's all there is to it. There isn't anything else to be done as long as it's coinciding with your email and you're all set. Even though they want us to do Polygon, according to support, it says we cannot change VSC to Polygon or anything else. What's there is there. That's something, Donna, you need to find out from Jason. Yeah. For well, us, because we're special group. Yeah. Debbie uh, says hers says polygon. Yeah, Deb, uh, make just make sure that it corresponds to whatever your email says. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, it's, it's, it's populated. I meant Debbie Payne. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've got lots of Debs here. <laughs> Debbie P, Debbie B. Yeah. <laughs> and Debbie S. Donna. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is Debbie P. Uh, <laughs> How'd you do, doesn't Mike? doesn't have, have that screen at all. It automatically goes to wallet setup. And I have to keep putting in my mnemonic um, phrases. Oh. Okay. Did and you I contacted them and they said something about an update. Okay, so uh, you do the updates through your profile, I believe. Hang on. Joel had the same exact problem. A few people had that problem in the past, but didn't you folks correct that? Here I am trying to talk and no one's asking me, why are you not answering me? Because I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's I, I had reason. an issue and, I, and I, I just got a message back from in persona saying they're aware of the issue. Um, now, now, if, if there's an update, great. Then let's do it. Okay. So, you have, are you upgrading okay. it? Well, well, I don't know. Is is, is there a um, update on it, Donna? Well, hang on just a second. I believe that the way you update this one is to go through your hey, your profile. Well, let's first, yeah, nope, it's not. Yeah, if you go to your profile and go down to the bottom, if you click about, that will show you what version you have. The version that I have and that's updated is 1.0.7. Yeah, that's what I got. But you're talking about in your Hilo app then, right? Not in Impersona? Oh, in Persona app. In Persona, you guys have about on your profile? Yeah. Yes. On the bottom, well, I don't. You click on your profile and you have uh invitation where well, you have your invitation oh, yeah. codes and yeah, just ignore me. I am a dork and I did not know I could go below help until right now. Yeah. So if you click on hi Candace, that will uh -huh. take you into your profile. And then that okay. was in and are there. we on 1.07? Is that what yeah. everyone else is on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Awesome. So am I. I am too. Yep, awesome. I, I have one point zero seven. So you're up to date, Joel. When anybody yeah. has version 1.0.7 is up to date. So what what um in persona said? Uh, let me just read you the email if you can find it here about that issue. Uh let's do a search for in persona. Yeah, I know you said you had that issue. And Laurie, did you have that issue too? Or somebody that you had had that issue? I, yeah, I did not, but Kim had two people that had that issue and they everybody contacted support and support told the same thing to everybody that they told Joel is that they're aware of it. They're working uh -huh. on it. They yeah. never mentioned any update. Right. 
So if there was an update, you would think support would have told us to get it. So. Well, on mine, the update comes automatically. So you have an update and then you just click on it. Right. But like everything, I guess what I'm saying related to that specific issue, they just said that they were aware of the issue and that they were working on it. Joel, yeah. is that what they told you to? Yeah. So, so essentially what they said is it is a, a bug um, that, uh, that is with, that is with um, certain um, phone models. Mm -hmm. and, and so they're, they're actually working on, on finding a fix for it. There you go. Yeah, so it's yeah. We, nothing we can do about it. Right. But how long ago was that, Joel? Uh, that would have been May 16th at 7.18 GMT plus two. Oh, so that was yeah, like, so like, just this week. Just, yeah, just that. this week. Yesterday. Yeah. Just oh. yesterday, yeah. Because on the last meeting, Donna told everybody that was having that problem to contact support. So right. they did. And it's it's taken this long for them to get back to everybody. Yeah, a handful yeah. of days. Well, that's what I did. That's when I found out all about this. Well, I actually contacted. Time. I actually contacted Hilo first, and then they said contact in persona. Okay, uh, Harold has a question. Um, well, all right. So this is about the watch. Who's got their watch connected? Do you see any uh, coins on your watch itself? Yes. My wife I only has have connected. The, no. I, I was gonna say I only have the band connected, so I'm not sure. Yeah. My wife has Change. um the watch and and um she doesn't have it, it doesn't have anything for like it says zero VSC collected. But yeah. if I look in if I look in her um in persona app, uh, there is some collection in there. Okay, so check your in persona app on your phone, Harold. Yeah, no, I, I have it, Donna, okay. on the uh on the app it's just on the watch that i see zeros yeah they may not update the phone until after this whole format is switched yeah yeah i think the yeah. watch isn't going from what jason said donna jason said the last time that he had the meeting with uh, all of us on the call with rory um he said that the watch won't update until we're out of epoch which is the end of may is that correct it's june 16th I june 14th. okay yeah okay so until we're out of epoch you won't see any updates on the watch screen 16. itself okay thank you but you'll be able to track it on your app on the phone yep great can thank i you. ask what's epoch i thought that was pay pay, pay, something pay period yeah well yeah, okay after they switch to the new format um got it because so out of the founder <laughs> act availability Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I had to get off to go to the BRT and I was so bummed because I didn't know you that the, you guys were going to go over this um, right when I got off last week. And so I didn't get to ask my question, but um, Connie and Melissa both verified that a few other people had the same issue as transferring their um, BSC to their wallet and they lost it. I did too. I would not do oh. that, guys, until they right. work the kinks out. Do not do that until 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 they so, they could guarantee that it won't be lost. Because you got yeah. it. Wait so that was the day that Kathleen had to mentioned to do that. That was the first thing and if like way back then. And so I did it like a dork. I mean, it was fifteen hundred something. You, you were and I'm lot. like, where <laughs> like I'm yeah. Bit. So I was just curious if anyone knew. So and, and Rory already said he was going to look into it, and I get it. He's so busy. I'm not going to bother him with it, you know? Yeah, it'll take a while. Uh, now. Okay. Uh, you think he'll just update, like, we'll get information when it all goes live? Donna, is that what you're saying? Somewhat? Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank I you. Still, I, and Jason's really good about giving us updates when he knows something for sure. So if we haven't heard something for a long time, it's because they're still working on it. So be okay. Ready. Yeah, nothing Thank is you. going to be taking effect until it goes live. And again, this uh, is should all be brand what, new. Yeah. So they've got lots of bugs to work out. That's what we're here for. Yep. That's a plus and a, a detriment. But we just <laughs> yeah, I totally get it and understand it and accept it. Right. And we'll have to be yeah. told how to utilize the tokens that we did get back a year ago to 
to convert them to the VSCs. So the VSCs can be converted to the USDs. So the USDs can be <laughs> put into our personal wall uh, don't, bank don't account. Don't try that right now. Just wait on that. So all no, that there's there's actually be big there's actually big warnings, guys, that'll tell you that if you're not doing it correctly, that you will lose your funds and there is no retrieving them. So yeah. don't do that. It's extremely important. Yeah, make sure you're transferring to the correct wallet yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And that's what this yeah. situation is today. That's why you want to make sure that it's correspondent with what you've got in the email. So does Deb and uh, Mike, do they not? you do now have this on the right? Yes. Um, I just get the uh, the in the, in, in personal um, or persona um, data um, logo, but it's not uh, opening up just for that page. So. But I am on the right. Um, I do have the right destination wallet. You know, what's in the email and uh, what's on my um, on my um, in persona um, phone here. So apparently, it was like flashing, like it wanted to open up, but it's not trying to open up. So I don't know if it's a technical problem or what. Why don't you uh, get out of it and open it up again? Sign back into it. Log yeah. out. Come back in. Okay. How about you, Deb? Yes, I have uh, both my M excuse me, both my NFTs, and uh, there are some uh, calculations here. So your homepage look like the one on the right now? Yes. There should just be one showing because you only are you only have one bound. Right. Well, Which will yeah, tell you up here what it is too. You'll know if it's binded or bound. <laughs> Rebecca has a question as well. So you're saying um, a payable sh showed for a few for a few days, a few weeks ago, then it disappeared. Anyone know where it went? Payable, I don't know. Um, so where are we at? Um, is that your balance? About, I think that's the balance. It's I'm under spending. Uh, at the top, when you hit the second icon at the bottom, choose spending instead of wallet. And that should tell you what your balance is. My, my only says... Three USDV. Everything else is zeros. Well, that's daily. It's adding it daily. So mine says it's, right now four, four point one six eight zero two. But and how long has it been on that for? Like, like my mine has been on, on on three forever. Well, it could be the same amount every day. Okay. If you hit your um. The second icon on the bottom and the wallet, they hit on wallet right now. Mine's showing like, you know, a whole bunch of under NFTs. Yeah. So here's what happens when I when I do this. So and so I, I I also ask about this. So when I go to NFTs and then I I choose my 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 founder's NFT, it asked it asked me to um, enter in my pin. I do my pin and then it crashes. So I also asked them about that, and, and they said that's also a bug that they're aware of. Yeah. It must be your model, your phone model that they're working on. Yeah, it's yeah. a Canadian thing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, right? <laughs> well, Angelica has a question. <laughs> of course, I... normal people. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, Angelica, no. what's your question? Uh, I have a kind of like complicated question. Um, yesterday, I was having problems with my uh, my band. It wouldn't take um, the EKG reading. It said that um, it was the signal was too weak. Mm. So what I did was um, I took out my watch. I charged it up. And so I'm using my watch right now instead of the band. Um, now, I wanted to change the NFT, the founder's NFT, to my watch and take it off of the band. Okay. But my Hilo uh, app 
in the meantime, decided to have an update. So I did the update first on the Hilo app. Um, I went, I took it off this, my, um, uh, what did I do? I removed, it. I, I removed it from my phone because it said, once it uh, loaded, you know, updated, it said that my Bluetooth wasn't available and it wasn't uh, registering. So I couldn't, you know, connect it. Right. So I, you know, turned off the phone. I did everything, you know, take everything off, put install back everything back in. Uh, I went to the Hilo and I still cannot uh, do it. In the meantime, I went into in persona and I unbound the founders from my band and try to right. do my watch. Now it tells me that the numbers that I put for my watch are already used with another user. Is That's it because, you. Is uh, it because it's, it's maybe, you. Is is it you because the, maybe the Hilo, the Hilo app doesn't recognize the watch still? Right. They have to be the same and the same right. email. So why would you want to do a watch instead of a band? Because you're going to get uh, ten times a hundred, you know, ten times more crypto with the band than you are the watch. Well, even if we put it in the founders, yeah, NFT. Because the difference as well is that the band does automatic readings. The watch does not. Uh, well, mine's has been doing automatic readings also. I was going to say, I I think Angelica is actually right, guys. It has to do with the NFT. It right. doesn't matter what device it's connected on. It's still going right. to the the founders NFT mines and takes the the vitals every 30 minutes. The regular NFT only does it every six hours. It doesn't matter which device it's on. Right. Correct. However, if but yeah, I but, do but, think but, Angelica but my Hilo, but see by, by my Hilo app. You have to unbind to in both. I did. I did. Now I can in do both anything. the Hilo and the in persona. And if you're not bound by anything, I would try binding your band again. And if it takes your band, I would just hold tight on that for now. Okay. Well, I, I have the Hilo open. And it, when it says device, select the device, band, mm -hmm. watcher, scale, I, I select. Uh, well, first of all, I was selecting band. But then it says Bluetooth is not available. So you have to check. Get your turn, your, turn your Bluetooth on. And I <laughs> went to the Bluetooth. I went to the Bluetooth and it's connected on there. All right. So the watch is a generation two and that right. is the basic NFT. So, oh, so sorry. excuse me. I had the same issue the other day with the what she's doing. I actually let my band die. And uh, then the Bluetooth recognized it after I charged it again. I had the same also, issue. Yeah, you could also turn it off, turn the, the band off in the Hilo app, if, if it's bound still. Well, the thing is that I can't use the Hilo app. Right, okay. So what is the reason again, Angelica, that you want to use the watch instead of the band? Well, because I it wouldn't take my uh, EKG reading. It said the signal was too uh, too weak, so I thought maybe something was wrong with the band. On the band, no. What I've had to On do was I have to hold. I got the band here with my, and I have yeah. to hold it down, and it has to be right by your wrist. Right. You know, That's can't right. be I always a have bit. it. And I have but, to hold it with two fingers down right. when it does that. ECG. Right the yeah. ECG right and then yeah. I mean I've Sometimes. taken it all along until just yesterday it wasn't working the whole day yeah and um, <clears throat> make sure it's charged fully yeah there, I, mean, I, I, mean, I charged them all I charged everything my phone my band my watch everything uh, I'm just going to go back with the uh, uh, the band, but uh, I mean, yeah. I just can't get to the helo. That's that's the thing. I'm going to make a yeah. quick couple of suggestions here. This is not directed at you, Angelica. I'm just saying going forward, guys, I'm going to say if you're bound and things are working pretty well, even if there's a little bug here or there, 
I'm going to tell everybody to not unbind things. Don't be switching right. things in this period. Yep. Also, don't be transferring funds from one place to another. I know we're all eager, but guys, this is this is a transition period that we're still in. There's there's going to be a lot of little quirks that we're still working out. If your devices are working fairly well, and when I say fairly well, I mean our, you know, mining our turning on and off, our charging correctly, our showing different readings, you know, if if it's pretty well working for the most part, Angelica, I realized that one thing wasn't working for you and that's what prompted you to do it. I'm saying going forward until the transition period is over, don't mess with it, guys. Don't unbind it. Don't don't do anything but shut it on or off or charge it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. In yeah, this I was phrase, just wondering if any, anything I can happen. Just, I was just wondering if anybody was having problems with the Hilo app. Nope. Okay. And I mean, you just honestly, you want to get to, yourself in a situation where once they give us clear directions on how to transfer money, that you don't have that ability. So leave well enough alone. Yeah, and see, as well. Issue. I don't know as well. Like, like if you if you unbind one one device and bind another device, does that does that um how does that that um affect what you've been mining? I don't know, right? It just sits there because I had to, you to know, like when we went it. when we went from one NFT to the other NFT. Yeah. It just turns one off and turns the other one on, right. and it just kind of sits there. Um, but as far as the device, I would just have yes. her reconnect to the band yeah. for right now. Oh, no, no just, I, I absolutely agree with that. For sure. Yeah. 100%. And just, you just have to make out. sure the other one, the watch is off. You yeah. don't want them both on yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And it won't connect Until... if, if you don't unbind one to connect the other. Right. It Because it's tied to your email. So if you're trying to bind two devices with one email, it will air mm -hmm. out on you. Yeah. Diane? Yeah, hi, everybody. I think you then kind of answered one of my questions because I have the older watch and I have the new band and I was going to kind of switch it. I was going to unbind it and then buy, you know, I don't know if you were getting more uh, coins with, you know, with the newer band than the yes. older one. Definitely you are. More yeah. readings, absolutely. Yeah. But you say no, don't do anything now. Don't unbind it. Just wait. Yeah, no, just wait. Go ahead and bind your your mm -hmm. level three. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. What do you mean? Bind uh, the new band to Un unbind uh, your three. old one first. Okay, yes. I can do that. I won't lose anything. No. Right. Okay, so unbind my regular band from my Hilo app and in Persona. Exactly. Yes. Got to do both. And then Take I have to rebind. Then I have to bind the new watch. That's make, right. Make sure band. that you turn. Make sure that you turn your, your watch off, and, and make sure that your band is fully charged as fully well as charged. your phone. Also, and make sure that you have the correct. You know which wallet. If you have more than that's what happened to mine, and I lost my founder's NFT for like two weeks. I was freaking out because, yeah. So make sure you know the wallet. That it's in vivo. It's in vivo right now. Yeah, and make yeah. sure you write down, and then before you shut off and unbind your founders, make sure that you're you know exactly that. That's so important because I lost 100%. mine in the cyber world, and it was the most scariest thing ever. You know. I know. Well, yeah. yeah. If you're Diane, if you're already <laughs> so connected, are you just trying to change your device, or are you? I was going to change. I was wondering if we was wondering if you would know my devices because I was wondering if we we're going to get more. Coins, yeah, you if know, you're with, already connected to the NFT three yeah. founders one, Level I I wouldn't mess with no. It. If she, you're connected, if to she that. wants to change, so so she she actually has her her a new band, and the watch is bound right now to the NFT. She wants to to now bind her her, her new band to that NFT, and the right. band d does do more more measurements than the watch does automatically it, for example it, it does your stress automatically does your, your um energy automatically so those two and then there's other ones as well automatically without you have to do it whereas on the watch you have to go in and choose which one you want to do each time so 
if if you have a, a new band, you can absolutely you want to b- a bind the band to the NFT because you're going to get more daily measurements without having to go into on, on your own. Okay, yeah. I'm so afraid to do it. Sorry. I'm afraid something's going to happen. <laughs> uh, you, that that should work fine. Okay, we've done okay. those for everybody. Okay, all right. And I have one other question. When I go into my um, and you know, I have it shows the NFTs. It shows the founders edition level three. But in the top corner, it says two NFTs. Shouldn't it say three? No. Wait, how, how many did you, you sell? You probably two? have you have two NFTs because you have two devices, right? No. Oh, was that? Oh, is yeah. that what that is? You've got the original one, the main yeah. one, and then right. you've got the level three one. Oh, okay. Right. The base okay. of the founders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And one other question. My spending wallet balance is, is in US dollars. And it's, it's telling me to transfer, but I won't don't touch that, right? No. Oh, don't do that yet. Okay. Nope. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, when I when I reconnect the new one, when I bind the new one, I have to when I bind it to the Hilo app, will it automatically go into Impersona or I have to bind it in Impersona also? Just I'll say I'll I'll do it with you. I'll watch it. Okay. You okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Donna. Okay. With a new um with a band as opposed to the watch, I found out that number one, it discharges faster than the watch. Number so you have to make sure that <clears throat> you're actually charging it within yeah. 24 hours all the time. Seriously, quick. like every every 24 hours. And especially if you have the um AFib turned on, you have to do it every day, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work below 85%. So it yeah. It goes quick. So when you see it on top turning blinking blue, you know you need to charge it up. And also every day when you wake up, it's a new day. So when you go to the Impersona app or your Hilo app rather, and then you slide it down so it can sync with your band. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll stay. I can tell by the number of steps. I look at the steps, and if it's zero, which it is when you wake up in the morning, then you just want to slide it down so you can actually sync it. So you have to do that really a couple times a day. The way to know manually, if it's on even is... though it does do it like every thirty minutes, you still have to do it manually. The way if ever you look at it and you don't know if it's on, if you just tap it twice, it'll light up. And then you you know that's on still. <laughs> that's why I have to do all the time. I I tapped it twice. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. Well, maybe it isn't working. <laughs> there you go. I don't have to tap it. I just look at it, and yet it, it'll blink. Uh, you know, every oh, once yeah. in a while. But if you see it blue blinking, when it's green, it's all charged up, solid green. But when it's blue blinking, then you know you have to charge it up yeah I charge mine you can also go to the device you, you, you can tell the, you can see the percentage right on the biosense you can tell you i don't care for that yeah i agree it takes a second when you go I to know. your data I, I, yeah just switch absolutely. to the device <laughs> yeah that's absolutely another way to share for sure and do you have another question or is that just still up yeah it's just gonna ask I think yep it's still up how you doing ian You have to unmute, Anne. Only the host has access to I'm sorry, putting I was, down hands. It's oh. up a call. What were you saying? Uh, do, do you, you have a question? question? No, not at the moment. Okay, thanks. So is everybody all set now? Well, yes. Thanks, guys. Uh, yes, thank you. Excellent. Well, as always, we'll have a recording of this and uh, you'll be able to look at it whenever you want. It'll take a while, but I'll put it in, you know, our links. Okay. Good info, guys. Yeah, this is a great meeting. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Check Thank with your you. students, make sure everybody is working before June 
because yeah. it would be terrible to have a big calamity right at the last minute when they want to transfer their money. So make sure, just remind them to make sure that they're bound and working properly. If not, get it fixed before June. ASAP, yep. Yep. Thanks, okay. everybody. Okay. Then we're all set for today, folks. Appreciate you coming. Hope you learned a lot. And uh, we'll see you next week. Great meeting, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.